Welcome to another video. This is a differential equation that we're going to attempt to solve. We're going to find a general solution for y. This is a first order differential equation because the highest derivative here is just the first derivative, y prime. So we want to see if we can separate the y from the x so we can integrate both sides like we would do for a separable linear equation. If I get rid of this x here, I'm going to be dividing everything by x. And then, yeah, but I, I can't separate. Because if I try to take the y back here, there is this y that is stuck here. So the thought we're going to have is, can I separate, can I rewrite this way, this, in such a way that I can move one part away and keep the other part? Now, because this is the exponent of this e, there is no way we can separate them. If it was a plus, then we can separate them as a multiplication and then divide both sides by one of them. So this looks like we can't do anything about it. We might need to do a u substitution. Well, I call it a u substitution. It's just a change of variable. So let's get into the video. My first attempt will be to isolate this guy first and see the picture that we have. So if we divide every term by x, we're going to end up with y prime will be equal to y divided by x plus e to the y over x divided by x. I'm going to write it as 1 over x times e to the y over x. Now, this question was designed in this manner so you could see something common. There's y over x here. There is y over x here. What can we do? Because there is no way you can separate y from x. So what we would rather do is, whenever you get this y over x situation, I would rather that you replace the y over x with another variable. So we do a u substitution. So we're going to say, let u be equal to y over x. And this means that y will be equal to ux. Now we can find y prime. But you see, u is a function of x. So when you take the derivative of this, you'll be applying the product rule from calculus 1 here. So we see that y prime is going to be we keep the first, we differentiate the second. If you differentiate the second, what do you get? You get 1 plus you differentiate the first, u prime, you keep the second, x. So y prime becomes u plus u prime times x. Now, we're going to go back to this equation and replace, do all the replacements that we can do. So let's go here. So we're going to replace y prime with this part. We have u plus u prime of x. And we're going to replace this guy with, where is it? With u. So that's going to be 1 over x. And then this is going to be, there is no replacement for 1 over x. So 1 over x is here. And then we're going to have e to the y over x again is u. So this is what we have. But because this is an equation, you have u here, you have u here. You can cancel out both u's like that. Cha. Cha. What do you have? We have u prime of x is equal to 1 over x e to the u. We can isolate this so by dividing both sides by x so that what we have next is just u prime will be equal to 1 over x squared e to the u. Nice. Now, once you have this, this clearly looks like a separable differential equation because you can move this to this side. But before you do that, you want to rewrite whatever this is as du dx. It's better. So we have du 
dx will be equal to 1 over x squared e to the u. So now we can take the terms containing u, bring them here, and leave 1 over x squared here. If I divide both sides th this way, I'm going to have du. I'm going to have e to the u to the negative u, rather, du will be equal to, um, what would this be? x to the negative 2 dx. I, I've written both of them in exponential form, okay? In exponent form. So I can now integrate both of them. See, I multiplied by dx and brought this here. It became 1 over e to the u, which is u to the negative 1. The du was still here. dx is here, and I wrote this this way. So now we integrate both sides. What do we have? Let me write it here. So the integral of e to the negative u du will be equal to the integral of x to the negative 2 dx. So remember, if we integrate e to the negative u, it's just the derivative of this that's going to show up, which is negative e to the negative u. Okay, now, should we do plus c here? Traditionally, we'll just add all the c's to the right-hand side. So wait until we're done. So here, what do we have? We have, if we integrate this, it's going to be x to the add 1 to this, it's minus 1, divide by minus 1, so it's negative 1 over x. That's what you get here, plus c. So remember, the mission is to find u itself. This is the guy we're looking for. Okay? Now, I mean, right now, this is the mission. So to find u, we're going to multiply everything by negative. So we have, so this is e to the negative u equals, this becomes a plus also 1 over x, and this becomes minus c. Again, this doesn't matter. Whether it's plus c or minus c, it doesn't matter what you put here because it's a constant. You can always change the, the sign on it. Okay, now, so if we take the natural log of both sides so we can free this guy, we get negative u will be equal to the natural log of 1 over x minus c. Remember, this could be plus c or minus c. It doesn't matter what you write here. Okay, and now we can multiply both sides by a negative. If we multiply both sides by a negative, we're going to get u equals negative natural log of 1 over x minus c. Okay, we just found our u. But remember, this is the differential equation we're solving. We're solving this, what we're looking for is y. We're solving for y. So, what did we say u was? u is y over x. So we're going to go back here and write y over x equals negative ln of 1 over x minus c. Multiply both sides by x, we have y equals negative x natural log of 1 over x minus c. And this is the general solution of this differential equation. Never stop learning. This is Stop Learning, Stop Living. Bye-bye.